What's good? It's your boy Coach T and welcome back to the Mud Talk Radio channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because if you're in a fashion, sports, life, and culture, then you're into this channel. Let's go. All right, man, so I'm back with another sneaker review today. For those of y'all that's been keeping up with the channel, man, we've been going pretty rapid lately, man, but my wife told me, listen, either apply pressure or go somewhere and just leave it alone. We ain't leaving it alone, so we applying pressure, man. So we got a sneaker review for you today. Let's get right into it. All right, so we got the pull tab right here on the box. We're gonna go ahead and open this joker real quick. You know, box opening has been pretty simple, and I feel like I set myself up when I said that. So now we... Bent my neck, bro. Look at that. My whole nail is bent from trying to get to this box. But those y'all to be think I'll be playing around this box just whoop me real quick. Dang. We're gonna keep it pushing. Like a player with an injury. We're gonna keep playing. You know what I'm saying? What we got in this box? Let's open it up. Ah. Hey. What that is, man. All right, so we got the Air Jordan 11, the women's Air Jordan 11, uh, Neapolitan, I believe that's what it's called. So after looking at this joint under the light, I'm gonna be honest with you, my first reaction is, let me give you a heads up before you think about purchasing this shoe. Uh, if you're a man, they did not come out in extended sizes. This is a women's, uh, what is this, a women's eight and a half, babe? Cause I didn't say the size on the box. Nine and a half? All right, so this is a women's nine and a half right here. Um, I think they only went up to a women's 12. So you won't be able to get these if you like have a larger foot. If you have a smaller foot, you probably can get them. Me personally, I wear a size 12, so I'm not able to grab them. But the first thing, the first thing that stands out to me, with the exception of this uh, stitching coming out of the Jumpman uh, logo right here is that this shoe, this is, when it said velvet brown on the box, I legit did not know that the patent leather was the velvet brown. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can tell that underneath the lights or does this look black on the video, but this literally is the velvet brown right here. And I'm wondering because they're calling it Neapolitan, if you know about the Neapolitan ice cream, maybe I should put a picture of it on the screen. If you're old school like me, you know what I'm saying? You used to get that bucket. They had the strawberry, the chocolate, and then the uh, vanilla. The sole is given the strawberry, right? The patent leather is given the chocolate, and this is just my opinion. And the white is given the vanilla. That's what I believe, and that's why I believe they're calling it the Neapolitan. But I don't know what I like. I don't. I don't know if I like the brown patent leather. I don't. I don't know if I like that. All right. So let's grab the second shoe real quick so we can do a side by side comparison. Appreciate you, babe. We're gonna look at these jokers and we're gonna try to compare and see if there's any type of quality issues as we always do here on the channel. For a sneaker that has a retail price of $225, I'm gonna present the, the question right now, right here on the channel. Do you think this sneaker's worth $225? My wife's saying she don't think it's worth $225. I think it is a bit underwhelming considered that it's, considering that it's an 11. I'm not really a fan of 11s like that. You know, in the past, I've had multiple pairs of Concords, of course, um, Breads. Uh, wasn't really a fan of the Cool Grays like that. I, I bought them for my kids, my son, you know, they've had them multiple times, but I've never really been a fan of the 11s like that with the exception being the Concords. And I feel like every time they put out an alternate color 11, number one, they put out too many pairs. Number two, the colors are a bit gimmicky, gimmicky to me. You know what I mean? If that's a word, but y'all get what I'm saying. I think it's, come on, man. Brown? Brown patent leather, bro? 
Now, the bottom to me is kind of dope. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. Could you rock these and go crazy with them? Oh, for sure. You could, you know, throw on a jogging suit with them. You know what I mean? A raw melon jogging suit. You know, we we, we, we could do a, you know, a, 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 a brown jogging suit, right? Or maybe even that pink and you throw these joints on. Now, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? You can do it. My wife like, no, stop it. Now, nah, you can do it for real. I just don't personally, I'm not crazy about 11s. Are you crazy about the Jordan 11s? If you are, drop it in the comment section. Let me know which pair was your favorite. All right, so let's get into styling this shoe. Very easy shoe to style. When you talk about Jordan 11s, this is your perfect um, sweatpants shoe, uh, your perfect jogger shoe. Um, honestly, man, a lot of hoopers, man, I've seen a lot of young people recently hooping their 11s. My son, that, he didn't toe his cool grades up. And he, he was hooping in them. I don't, I don't know if it's a comfortable shoe to hoop in, but I think people like to be seen on the court and like to look real nice. Maybe not necessarily can hoop that good. And I ain't talking about my son, like he can't hoop that good. But you know, it's always that one person that show up on the court with Jordan's on and you like, yeah, he can't hoop or she can't hoop. But I think this would be a dope shoe. You know what I'm saying? If you really could hoop, to throw on and you know what I mean? Do your thing, especially for the females. I mean, if you're a dude, you're gonna have to have a small foot to really rock these. Um, Jordan 11s typically uh, fit true to size. I know my last pair of 11s, my Concours, they were a size 12. I didn't have any issues with them fitting. So I would imagine if you're trying to get these and you are a, a man or a woman, go true to size on these. But when it comes to styling, you really wanna be comfortable with these. Throw your jogging suit on, throw your joggers, throw you a good hoodie on, um, and just rock out like that, man. This is a shoe you just really throw on, man. You know what I mean? Jordan 11, you know? What y'all think? All right, so let's get into the rating of this shoe, man. And again, I got both of them up because I'm just really, really looking at them. And I'm really, um, I'm, dis I'm disappointed. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm disappointed. Um, I think it's a combination of how they did this upper. It's just, it's giving like weird to me. It's leather, but as you can see the way it's put together, you gotta have these in hand. I don't really like that. And then the sock liner, it's set up to go dirty on you. If you know it, if you know, you know, that joint can get stained with sweat or a certain color dye on your, on your sock or something like that. Could stain this and unless you got some really good shoe cleaner, you probably ain't gonna get that out. Um, this was not a must cop. I, I was I was excited when we hit on the shock drop for not one pair, but two pairs of these joints. Um, second pair haven't came in yet, ironically. You know how Nike get, they ship you one really fast while the other one is somewhere floating out somewhere. Hopefully, ain't, you know, it ain't getting napped up in the warehouse because you know holiday season coming up. But um, the rating of this shoe, whoo. I'm gonna go six out of 10. I'm going six out of 10 for these, man. If it was a test and it was 10 questions, 60%, which would be in my day, an F. I'm giving it an F. I'm giving this Jordan 11 Neapolitan an F. It's going in the trash bucket. I don't really like it. My wife don't like it. Because I got a second pair coming to the crib, I think we got a nine and a half. It, this was the nine and a half, right? So we got a nine coming. I'm gonna see if my daughter like them. If she don't like them, they going back unless somebody want to buy them. Like somebody, y'all want to hit in the comment section? Y'all want to pay? Let's see, it was 225 plus tax to carry them. 240 and some change, I would imagine. So if you want to cop them, if you want them that bad, you know, hit me up, make it make sense. You're going to have to pay for that shipping though. You know what I'm saying? But either way, man, six out of 10 for the Jordan 11 Neapolitan right here on the Mud Talk Radio channel. Before we get out of here, man, I gotta say shout out to all the new subs, man. Again, man, we crossed 800 a while ago. As, as I'm recording this video right now, I think I'm at like 806, man. So shout out to everybody that's hitting that like button, that's subscribing, that's dropping comments, asking questions, you know, connecting with me on Instagram, going to check out my website if you haven't already. Go check out rawmelonclothing.com. As you can see, I got on one of my shirts from the summer drop. Super comfortable, super happy that I was able to get this one. And as a matter of fact, I'm about to let y'all know a secret right here on the YouTube channel. I haven't even put this out on Instagram. I picked up the backstop from the store inventory, which wasn't much. It was about five shirts. So I got about five of these available. So if you're looking to grab one, you, you, you weren't able to catch it when it was on the website. You weren't able to catch them in the store. I got four available right now. Oh, five. No, four, because I took this one. 
So I got four. I got four because I didn't even get one. So I got four now. If you want one, hit me in the DM or just go to the website and, you know, put your information in there. Send me an email or something. But I got you covered. But as I say always, man, love is free. Hate costs. You've been watching Mud Talk with your boy Coach T. I'm out. Right. Subscribe, like, comment, hit that right. post notification. Oh yeah, you Yo. heard it first and foremost. Go ahead, the like goes, subscribe goes, all that. All that, Just man. Right